What is going on guys, Joel here, back with another video, and if you checked out my recent video, I showed you Apple's new software, iOS 11, and its new features that you should be expecting when it drops to the public in the fall. Now in that video, I also asked you guys if you wanted to know how to install it today on your iOS device, and you guys wanted that, so here it is, and it's actually very simple. So iOS 11 was released to developers only at the moment. There is gonna be a public beta here in the next few weeks, but if you don't want to wait, this is how you install it on your device today. Now every time I do these type of videos, I always advise to go ahead and back up your device using iTunes or iCloud. I'm actually doing this on my iPad mini. Also be sure that your device is compatible with iOS 11. So if you have any of these devices, you're good to go. But go ahead and back up your device. I have mine backed up right here on iTunes. Once you have completed backing up your device, all you gotta do now is go to your device. And I'm gonna show you real quick that if we go to settings here, I am on the latest version of iOS, which is currently 10.3.2 as of shooting this video. So you can see right here, 10.3.2. And normally if I would hit software update, it will tell me that my software is up to date but we're gonna change that because we're gonna install iOS 11 real quick. So this means you don't have to wait until the public beta, you will get the developer beta onto your device. I would advise not to install this on your main device because there is some bugs here and there. You might get some freezes or crashes, everything like that. So just be aware of that. So all you gotta do is go to the link that I'm gonna provide in the description below. I have it right here in my notes. Go ahead and click on that, open it up, and be sure to open it up in Safari. And all you gotta do now is hit slow download. You can do no things, this is fine. And then you'll get the install profile. This is gonna be the iOS beta software profile and we will need to install it onto our device so that way we can get those new updates once they are released for iOS 11 beta. So simply hit the install button right up here on the top right enter your code. Once you enter your code, all you gotta do is hit install on the top right again, install profile right here, and then we'll hit restart device right there. And now you just wait until the device is restarted. So this simply allows you to install iOS 11 without having a registered developer account. Now once it boots back up, all you gotta do is enter your passcode if you have one. Now going into your settings, go over to general and then go to software updates. If everything went smoothly, you will now get prompted to install iOS 11 developer beta as you see here. So then it's gonna request the update. Be advised this may take a few minutes, so just be patient. But once it is complete, you can go ahead and install and you're pretty much good to go. It's pretty much a waiting game right now. All right, once it downloads, all you gotta do now is hit install and it'll verify the update, um, and that is pretty much it. With the magic of video, we can fast forward this until it installs it and reboots. That's all you gotta do now. Once it reboots, you will see that you have iOS 11 on your device. So now that it's rebooted, we can go into our settings and go to general and about, and we'll see that our software is now on iOS 11. So this is the initial launch of iOS 11 beta one for the next two, three months up until the launch of the new iPhone, there's going to be new betas of iOS 11. That's going to fix bugs throughout here and there. So all you got to do is go into your settings and then hit update once those are released, which I'll be making videos on those. So stay tuned to the channel, subscribe to it if you're not yet. That way you know that there is a new update available for the betas on iOS 11. But as simple as that, that is how you get iOS 11 without developer account on your device today. Now if you wanna see the major features and what's new with iOS 11, check out my video that I'll leave down below in the description or annotated on the screen here. That'll give you a walkthrough and overview of the new features with iOS 11. But anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. As always, if you did enjoy it, let me know by hitting that like button down below. Also leave a comment if you did install iOS 11 on your device and tell me what's your favorite feature so far. Now, if you're not following me yet on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat, I'll leave a link down below in the description so you can go ahead and follow me on those. That way you'll stay up to date with what is going on and when my new video will be dropping. 
And speaking about videos, if you feel like being awesome, subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be notified every time I launch a new video. Also be sure to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified on your device. Let me know what you wanna see on the next video. There's gonna be more content covering iOS 11, but alongside iOS 11, there's a new update for the Apple Watch. If you wanna see that, let me know by hitting the like button and a comment down below. Anyways guys, appreciate your support very much and I'll catch you all on the next one, all right? Peace.